rather interesting report to share with you guys today and something that I just kind of want to throw out there to you guys. You see, over the past year and a half, our food processing plants have not only been catching fire and arsons have been happening, but also planes have been crashing into some of our food processing facilities, leaving people to wonder what on earth is going on and conspiracy theories running wild. Now, we all know that we've never seen this amount of processing facilities here in the U.S. catch fire as they have within the last year or so, even so much so that Tucker Carlson did a report on it. Take a look at this. Uh, this is on, on Tucker Carlson on his website.com. This was published April 21st, 2022. What's going on with all these food processing plant disasters? And it is a rather intriguing question, but now we have a whistleblower who has come forward stating what he believes is the problem and why this is happening. And you guys are going to be absolutely floored. Now, just as a quick reminder, get to restrictedrepublic.com. I've got so much information that I am putting on this website and this website alone. You're not going to get it anywhere else. But if you want the answers to the types of questions I'm asking today, then you want to get to restrictedrepublic.com. And right now you can get it for free, no cost for two entire months. Use the coupon code free and the number two. Take advantage and see what, well, uh, the mainstream media is not talking about. So check it out, restrictedrepublic.com. All right, so let's dive into what exactly this whistleblower has dropped about these fires and food processing plants. Take a look here. And I found this on the republicanbrief.com. Whistleblower reveals who he believes was responsible for fires at U.S. food plants. Now the article goes on, rare reported that in the U.S., dozens of food processing plants suspiciously caught fire over the past year. Remarkably, no one was present at the time of the fires. The EcoHealth Alliance whistleblower, bioterrorism expert, military veteran, and scientist Dr. Andrew Huff has a possible explanation for the food supply fires. Huff has access to government information about simulating a food supply attack. The information comes from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Food and Agricultural Sector Critically Assessment Tool, FAS CAT. This also includes which places are particularly at risk. According to Huff, who authorities have harassed due to the nature of his work since 2019, the U.S. government coordinated the attacks on the food facilities. But in addition, something remarkable happened. The hard disk with the FAS CAT data disappeared. Since then, there have been about 200 food factory attacks around the world, most of them in the United States, he explained. Huff had another backup and analyzed the attacks. It turned out that the attacks exactly matched the most critical systems in his data set. He reported this to the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI, but never received a response. And in conclusion, he knows that the FBI and the food industry have tried to investigate what he calls terrorist attack, but they're getting nowhere. He suspects that a government-funded actor or a globalist group like World Economic Forum is behind it. And here's the interview uh, in which he talks about it. Uh, now, ultimately, I'm going to lead the well, I'm going to leave that for you to decide. But what I do know is we've definitely had an uptick in these mysterious fires and plane crashes and attacks on our food processing facilities. And, as, and, and I also know that the FBI is at a dead end. Well, is this whistleblower actually onto something? Does he know a little more about the topic? Well, ultimately, you get to decide. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.